So I am at work and Cortland is here with me because uh, she is the new office dog. But this is the backyard of where I work and this huge overgrown patch right here used to be um, a completely organic garden that my boss and his wife used to upkeep and he had said that they have not done it in a couple of years clearly, but that it's still fully organic. They don't put any pesticides or anything on it. And he knows that I absolutely love gardening. So next year I will be taking this patch and turning it into a company vegetable, fruit, herb garden, where we can then come out during the spring and the summertime and harvest fresh, fresh vegetables for our company's lunches and things like that um, and then you know maybe we'll all chip in and preserve some stuff so that we can um, have it you know as much year round as we can in the front of the building there's a peach tree as well um, that we actually need to prune before it gets too too cold um, but yeah so I'm really excited about the potential of this garden patch and already have some thoughts on it but clearly it needs a lot of TLC, so I will probably throughout the winter months um, be trying to clear this out during my work day when I don't really have a lot of things to do. Also, he has this old fire truck back here that just needs a fuel pump to run, or no, I'm sorry, it needs a new door handle. That's why it was decommissioned. It's because they can't get the part for the door handle. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to convince him to turn it into something fun and useful but we'll see it's been sitting there for a while so yeah that's just things that I'm excited to do about the company that I work for and getting some things done six of vlogmas i am in the kitchen because aelin is in the living room watching beauty and the beast for the very first time um so if you hear that in the background that's what that is but um i just kind of wanted to, to give an update it is 4 30 we got home uh probably about 10 minutes ago and i am about to put away some clean dishes wash some dirty dishes and then get dinner started we're gonna have some split pea soup tonight um, I think it's just like a really nice dinner to have when it's a little bit chilly out and you kind of want something nutritious and like just to be really, really yummy <laughs> like soup. Um, so I'm going to get that started. I'm also going to start my sourdough starter tonight, which I think is very exciting because I want sourdough this winter. So I'm going to start my starter tonight 
and go through that whole step of like getting it ready and getting it active and all that stuff. Um, also, I did some planning. So I am testing the Krogan sweater by Madame Flovel Knits, or Nadine is her name, and I am like super, super behind on this test knit. I just, I had to dye the yarn for it, and then it, I just things have been coming up. Um, so I'm like really committed to getting this done by December 23rd. I want to wear it um, to like my family's like Christmas Eve dinner. And when doing the math, I realized I have a lot of knitting ahead of me. Um, like I'm talking, I'm blocking this sweater the day before the party <laughs> um like planning wise so i have decided that instead of focusing on my advent projects so much what i'm basically going to do is i am going to prioritize the sweater and like I've, I've planned out every day how much I need to knit. And so once I hit that amount for my sweater, then I am allowing myself to work on my advent projects. Um, and then once I'm like caught up on my advent project, then I will go on ahead and go back to the sweater and kind of get ahead if I want to. But I think that's going to be what's going to work best for me. And so I will still obviously show every day. I'm just not going to be knitting it into the Innsbruck shawl or scarf as like quickly as I would have liked I think um so today is a little bit different because all I want to do is get the collar finished today um and my wrist <laughs> my wrist really hurts when I knit too much ribbing all at once so I have to like be very specific about when I do ribbing and I think I've got like 12 rows left on the collar in one by one rib to do and so I I'm just gonna allow myself to do that tonight and then do my day five um knit up my day five of my Innsbruck shawl tonight hopefully I keep calling it a shawl it's a scarf it's a scarf you guys I'm sorry um but I think that's the plan for tonight I have a physics final tomorrow that I'm gonna do a little bit of studying for tonight not a whole lot but but some studying for tonight just to kind of get my ducks in a row for um, basically the open note open book final tomorrow. But I will update you guys later and we'll see what we get up to.